Question number 10. Table 1 shows the values of two variables x and y obtained from an experiment. The variable x and y are related by the equation. So they give you this equation here where h and k are constant. Question A. Based on table 1, construct a table for the values log 10, sorry, log x base 10 and log y base 10. So we're going to do, I mean, re redo the table. First one is going to be log x base 10 and then followed by log um, y base 10. Okay, so, um, so I've already done this for you all actually. So log 10, 10 will be 1. This one will be 1.25. Okay, 1.4, 1.8, 2.15. Two point six, okay. Then log y base ten here be one, one point one four, and then one point three, one point six, one point nine two. Oops, one point nine two, and two point two. Okay. So this is the table. Now question B. Um, plot the graph log y against log x using the scale so they give you the scale here 2cm this is for the x-axis and this is for the y-axis hence draw the line of best fit okay we're gonna do this together okay um yeah all right guys so i've already redrew re the table for y'all and plot the graph just make sure when you are doing the scale please follow what they say yeah so in this case, they said every 2cm represents 0 0.5 for the x-axis. So make sure you follow that. And every 2cm represents 0 0.2 for the y-axis. Okay, I'm not following it because I don't have a graph here. But when you do your graph, please make sure you follow that. Okay, then you plot all the points and then you can draw your line of best fit. Okay, so it should look something like this. Okay, it won't be so perfect. Like, this one looks a bit uh, too perfect, but it won't be so perfect. Like. I think... Okay, wait, give me a minute. Huh? Maybe I should do... Oops. Okay. Something like this, lah. Okay, it won't be so perfect, but it'll be quite close to each other, lah. Okay, so this is your line of best fit. Now, what they ask for question number. So this is B, right? We have already done B. Now question C, they want you to. Okay, we done. Question C, they ask you, based on the graph, find the value of H and K. So before you even do this, you need to use the equation given. So the equation given is this y equals to hx power 2k plus 1 y equals to hx power 2k plus 1 so since you, we know that the y axis is log y base 10 and the x axis is log x base 10 so what we can do is we can put log both sides of the equation so we add log base 10 power i mean log y base 10 equals to log h sorry log 10 and then here is x 2k plus 1 so this one here you can actually break them apart because h and x are multiplying each other so you can break them apart so you get log h base 10 plus log x base 10 then here is 2k plus 1 so this 2k plus 1 you can bring it in front okay so we can rewrite that 2k plus 1 log x base 10 okay so you know that this is your x axis this is your y right so we can form this one is y equals to your x is here so if x is here this will be your m plus c so if you want to find h and k you just have to remember you know know how to get this when you can form this then you can find ready okay so from the intercept here 
okay based on our graph our intercept here is like 0 0.2 right but uh based on my actual graph that i found that i i did by myself i got 0 0.25 okay so i'm going to use 0 0.25 0 0.25 equals to log h base 10 okay so i want to find h right so i bring the log 10 base 10 bring the other side becomes 10 power 0.25 so h should be equals to 1.78 okay so you found h now we can do for m so m is the gradient so how to find the gradient so we can use um, the graph okay to find your two points and then find the gradient so in this case what i'm going to use since the first point and the last point is connected i want to use this okay i'm going to use this 2.6 and 2.2 .2 and then 1 1 okay so let's see so we have m which is the gradient so it's 2.6 minus 1 over 2.2 .2. eh, sorry it's not 2.6 y2 minus y1 so this is 2.2 .2 minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2.6 minus 1 because this is the x value right this is the y value okay equals to we found here is what 2k plus 1 okay so here you should get 0 0.75 equals to 2k plus 1 so from here we can find k k is equals to um, negative 0 0.125 Okay, this is the answer that I got. Okay, you might get a bit different. It doesn't matter as long as it's close. Okay, there's a range for the answers. So that's how you solve this.